How's it going guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews and this is my review for Die, Die, My Darling. This is a part of Hammer Films Week. Guys, if you could give us that like, give us subscribe, help us grow in 2024, I'd sure appreciate it. Now let's get right into this review. Uh, I really dug this movie. Uh, this movie has some pretty good layers to it. Uh, I would have to say that Stephanie Powers, uh, her, her character lacked a little bit. I can kind of see in the di in the dynamic of all of it. So just a quick thing for this movie. Uh, the plot is this lady, she moves to, uh, moves to England with her new fiance. She calls up her old uh, fiance's mother to go visit her to just talk about her son and everything else and wanting to tell the mother what happened to her son, uh, which is a big reveal in the movie. Uh, and the mother is basically a religious nutcase and holds her hostage to convert her to save her for her son in the afterlife. <laughs> or in the gates of heaven, or whatever it is. It's deep. Uh, we have Tallulah Bankhead playing Mrs. Trefoil. Uh, we have Stephanie Powers playing Patricia Cole. Uh, we have Donald Sutherland playing Joseph, a mentally handicapped individual. And he's got this platinum blonde hair, and he just looks crazy, crazy. Uh, Tallulah, Tallulah ba uh, Bankhead, uh, I am a fan of hers, and she does, she just plays this creepy, controlling woman who is, who is basically worshipping her dead son, wanting to, like, save this woman's soul for her son, and everything that goes about it is just deep, dark, and crazy, uh, but this was fun, man. Um, I like these old films. You know, on my channel, I do a bunch of older films. Uh, I believe this was 1965. You gotta love the fashion in this movie. Um, there's just something about, like, I honestly believe, like, the 80s, the 60s, and the 30s had some of the best, the dopest fashion uh, very much for uh, for women, a lot of pencil skirts, uh, just everything everything looked more elegant than what we have today. Everything kind of looks trashy today, but like these women looked elegant in their outfits. and I know that's a that's a um, a, uh, a designer uh, costume designer's job to make them look awesome until they're not supposed to look awesome. And I love that uh, in this film. Uh, like I said, uh, 70 Powers, she she plays... You, you never get the moment that you're expecting from it. And I think this might be just, oh, this is an older film, and you're so, you're so expecting her to overcome it and win it like in modern films but she doesn't man she she's about to get murdered and it takes her uh fiance to save them she is literally like a second away from getting murdered she gets stabbed in the shoulder she gets a beat down and like everything in this film she gets starved and everything and she has moments where she fights back but you can just tell she is not able to fight these people and stuff like that and it is awesome uh i really i dug this movie but for what this movie is it's 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 pretty all right it's a fun watch nothing spectacular to it you you expect it to go a little bit darker but it doesn't it just it kind of just skirts that line which is still nice 
but I think it could have went a little bit darker. Where does this lie on my five-star review scale? The story is a 3.5. The cinematography is a 3. The characters are a 3. The design is a 3, which brings our total to 3.125. Guys, let me know down below. Have you seen Die, Die, My Darling? Uh, are you a fan of Hammer Films? Hammer Horror? Anything like that? Let me know down below, guys. I'd sure love to hear it and have a conversation about it. Give us that like. Give us a subscribe. Help us grow in 2024. It's almost over, baby. I'm going to be like, help me grow in 2025. Got a lot coming up in 2025. I'm very excited for it. All right, guys. And I will see you in my next review. Bye.